Hey YouTubers, so Seth Fantasticville here. I'm in uh, Lockhart, Texas. This is the county seat for Caldwell County. It's the uh, second week of August. It's 100 degrees today. This will be part of my uh, county courthouses in Texas. The ones that look real nice and uh, made of stone and got that tradition with it. We'll start here, we'll read all the historical markers. First one, Caldwell County, a part of DeWitt's County in 1825, 1836, a part of Gonzalez County to 1848. First settlements were on Plum Creek and the San Marcos River, created March 6, 1848, organized August 7, 1848. Caldwell County is named in honor of Matthew Caldwell Old Paint, 1798 to 1842. He was a soldier, statesman, signer of the Texas Declaration of Independence, and commander of the Texas Rangers. Lockhart is the county seat for Caldwell County, as I mentioned. And then they dedicated this memorial in 2005 to the military. Got all the branches up here. Go and walk around. Again, it's part of the county courthouses of Texas that I've already visited some, not a lot. There's a lot of counties in Texas. Uh, eventually hit all of them. To honor Stephen Austin, the father of Texas children of Caldwell County Plant Street and Arbor Day ceremony, May 7, 2004. This live oak was germinated from the huge live oak tree that stands today on the site where Stephen F. Austin died January 27, 1836, near West Columbia, Texas. Howdy. Howdy. So we'll start with the historical marker. The front one entrances, there's four entrances to the courthouse. Caldwell County Courthouse was erected on this site in 1848 when the county was organized and named for Matthew Caldwell, a Texas Ranger and signer of the Texas Declaration of Independence. It was replaced in 1858 by a two-story limestone edifice measuring 65 feet by 40 feet with six offices and two rooms for storing records. By 1893, that building had become too small for a growing county. April 19, 1893 correction, Judge George W. Kaiser and Commissioners J. H. Jolly, G. A. McGee, and C. R. Smith, R. A. Tiller approved plans for the present courthouse. The cornerstone was laid by Lockhart Lodge Number 690, A. F. M. and A. M. on August 15, 1893. Contractors were Martin, Barron, and Johnson completed the building on March 19, 1894. The three-store structure is built of sandstone with red sandstone trim. It displays the fine workmanship and elaborate detail, common architecture of the period. The mansard roof is characteristic of the Second Empire style that was often used for public buildings. The courthouse is topped by a central clock tower with additional towers at each corner and flanking the north and south entrances of the window was built. The structure was equipped with the latest conveniences of the day, including electricity. So this is one of the sides here. I'm in the historic part of Lockhart, Texas also here downtown Main Street. See there. Interior. I'll go inside also. Do a walk around. As I do my walk around, some of the background there is the old city itself. One of the other entrances. I'll go read this, check the marker out over here. We're doing some construction on that corner there. Most of the buildings are the old traditional buildings here in downtown. Another tribute to the military. Veterans who served this great nation and to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. World War I, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, Grenada and Lebanon, Panama, Desert Storm. It was erected in 1991. It hasn't added any new items. And like I said, downtown's here, got the old buildings. See that Lockhart, the barbecue capital of Texas, that's what they claim. They actually have a couple of good barbecue places here. They got Cruz, they got a Black Sear, and uh, two others. Cruz is actually a good barbecue joint. So I'm on this side. Here is a good uh, uh, cheese. So you see the clock tower up there on this side and 
directional wind. Go to the cornerstones the masons laid out here. Here's the Mason's Cornerstone, August 1st, AD 1893, John Orchard, DGNL it looks like, and then A Lodge 5893, number 69, Lockhart Lodge, the Mason's there. I'm gonna go inside. So I went inside one of the other ones. The one up in San Marcos. See what it looks like here. It's open right now. It's kind of. There's some museums around here. There's a old clock, clock museum, clock and watch museum right over there. But it's closed right now. Um, middle of the week. San Marcos has an area where you could look up the county courthouse there. But again, we're in a different county. They got some markers inside. Centennial 1940. And then the old stairs. This is the Colville County House Tower Clock Ladder Segment Circa 1894 Longleaf Pine Vertical Ladder Ridge approximately 40 feet long replaced in 1994 with stairs and steel ladders when the tower clock was originally restored. Got a system there. Main area, I'm not going upstairs. This uh, courthouse is actually used a lot more. The one in Bear County that I did in San Antonio, they have an actual museum inside their courthouse. From the other end here. Again, stairs going up to the other side. It's kind of cool. Again, many of these old courthouses in Texas are still heavily used. Some of them have side offices. I opened the door! <laughs> So the notice of medium boards they have out here. Again, I went inside. This is considered the front entrance here. The Caldwell County Courthouse, 1893, you see there. And the clock tower above it. Very beautiful building. Um, there's stairs to the other two floors where they hold offices and maybe court. But uh, can't go up in those sections. And again, they still do a lot of business here. a quick view of some of the old buildings here like them there that one over there is you got a uh, Amy's there at the El Dorado it says it's got the best banana pudding there's the clock and watch museum like I said it's not open right now we can go in there and then some more views of downtown but again very beautiful building here um, stone, a lot of it quarried around here in this area is the Texas Bestrop, Lockhart, San Marcos, do quarrying around there. Mm -hmm. 
I just did a quick walk around of uh, here in Lockhart, Texas, the, count, the Caldwell County Museum. Uh, very nice inside um, where you can go in. Uh, again, still functional. And then I did a walk around of the whole tour of the outside of the museum and any historical markers I had at it here. Also, the cornerstone, which is right there. And uh, the main entrance here on the north side where I went inside. Um, if you guys like this uh, tour here, part of my uh, historical county courthouses is in Texas. Go and like, share, subscribe. Have a good day. Adios. <laughs>
castellated brick structure. The jailer's quarters occupy the ground floor over a storage area. In the basement, the upper floors contain 15 cells of concrete and steel, one cell rising from the center of the building. Gallows are said to have been removed from this jail in the 1930s. So the gallows were removed in the 1930s. So now it's presently it's the Caldwell County Museum. That's what they use it for. And again, I'm in the middle of the week here. But the hours are Saturday through Sunday, 1 through 5. Right down there, that stone that's below the says the stone displayed here is from the third Caldwell County Jail. Jail was built in 1873 and was used until 1908. It was built from stones quarried by hand from the McCurdy Place in Lockhart. It was completed in six months. It contained two cells upstairs and two cells downstairs. There was a room for the jailer and a room for cooking. And it's got an old picture of it there again. It's locked up. I can't go in there. Then as I walk around it, there's a monument uh, dedicated in memory of our soldiers from 1861 and 1865, the Confederate States of America. There's the courthouse I was at earlier. You can see the clock tower from here. Oh, there's no fence here. It doesn't. They're building something over here. So. The windows open there but till you may it never can be told sing as you may it never can be sung the story of the glory of the men who wore the gray again monument 1861-1865 erected by general xb the bray chapter number 303 the united daughters of confederacy november 1923 So we're in the historic district of Lockhart. Again, I just decided to drive down here since I was leaving the courthouse to head home. And there's a picture of the old county courthouse. Caldwell County Jail, sorry, located North Main Street, Lockhart, 1870, This is a lot of stones. Part of the, the old brick, old bricks there, and when the companies used to put the name of their. Oh, sorry, I guess there's a car detail shop next to it now. The back side. the little castle this is to the back it's got steel doors there feels kind of creepy right now oh, my hair is just stood up the hairs on my arm just stood up from looking down there wow it's probably an old entrance there but now they use it as a called Will County Museum. It'd be nice to come on the weekend and look. You see the old jail cell doors to the windows there. So let me head out this way. Again, I know I already finished my video. There's a look downtown there. But again, the Cabo County Museum. Used to be the prison, the jail. Mm -hmm. 
so this is on the corner of Brazos Street so I know I finished the video already uh, but if you like this bonus footage go ahead and give it a double thumbs up but again the Cabo County Jail now I'll go ahead and head out see if anything else catches my eye away I might stop and give some more bonus feature but this is a corner of Brazos and Market here again open Saturday through Sunday let me get back inside it's about 100 degrees today okay I just did some of that bonus footage now I am <laughs> this video sounds weird is sometimes I uh, see stuff I'll stop and uh, throw some bonus footage in the main video that I started so I'm turning right here just I want to start heading back to my neck of the woods there's one of the blacks barbecues here to the left it's on East Walnut Street Downtown. Going by another barbecue place. There's a Terry Blacks here. They got a Hawaiian rest up there. St. Mary Cemetery. To the right. American Legion, 